So two weeks ago, tomorrow, we planted these tomato seeds. And now we're going to up pot them. These tomatoes here are for our cattle panel greenhouse high tunnel. Um, we have three different varieties. When you plant them, Anytime you mess with a tomato, you always want to get it as deep as you possibly can in there. So the bottom of that is the bottom of this pot. And that's how you always want to do tomatoes that way. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to poke these out and give them to my beautiful wife. They are a little bit dry, but that's all right. They'll get watered here really good in a minute. They look really nice. Did you rip the heads off of them? <laughs> I didn't, but it was close. We're putting these in a tunnel and then we're going to have, I'm not sure, I, I can't remember how many we're going to do in the field. A fair many. More than this in the field. Um, I think, I think, I won't say, I won't say more than this. Because in the field we're doing half bigger tomatoes and half cherry tomatoes. This one has two in it, so you just take the smallest of the two and just cut it off. You could pull it out, but then you're taking a chance on breaking roots, so. And that usually does happen. And I usually just pop them out of there like that. Now that makes you excited to get started for the year. Yes, this makes spring feel closer. Yes. That's pretty good, Dylan. Not Didn't bad. Only missed two. two. Only missed two, which is pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. There. Then the ones that didn't germinate, the indigo cherries, those were new seeds. These were seeds left over from a year ago, which is pretty weird. Yeah. So we'll let them like this um, in these four packs. I'll fertilize them with some fish emulsion and give them a good drink. And I'll just give them a little bit of this. Each one, not a lot, but a little bit. This is fishy mulching. You want to keep it off the leaves as best as possible. Tomatoes, you want to keep them as dry as you possibly can on the... Of course, not that you're going to... This stuff stinks, too. Anybody that's ever used this stuff knows how nasty it is.
So that's all that I'll do with that for those, and then I'll just water them. <clears throat> I'll give them a pretty good drink um, once I turn it to where I want it. I'll give each of these a pretty decent little drink because they were kind of dry. And I want to keep, keep this down as low as I don't want to beat the crap out of the tops of the plants. They're going to we're going to go through a little bit of transplant shock anyways. So I want to try to keep them as good as possible. Today's a good cloudy day out here. It's actually pretty chilly outside. So we, we ain't supposed to have any sun today. Not till I think tomorrow is supposed to be sunny. If you go through these right now and you water them like you would until you let them mature a little bit in these pots, they'll fall over and they'll mat fast to the thing and you'll, they'll die. You want to make sure you water the dirt, not the root, not the, not the heads. And they'll get a little bit of water. Well, I'm not saying going to hurt them, but you don't want them. You don't want to beat the crap out of them. Alrighty, so to now this step is to up pot these, and you can see the difference. This is probably two weeks, two and a half weeks. So what you do at this stage is you pop them out here. Be gentle, you don't want to break them. So you got your tomato plant. The roots aren't extremely bad. There's a lot of roots there, but they're not terrible. But the first thing you want to do is clip off them little baby leaves. These leaves here is the first leaves that come out. This is the first leaf that comes out of the plant, the seed. Um, where are you? There you are. First leaf that comes out, you want to cut them off. Okay. Now you have your. Now you have your tomato, right? Your plant. Hopefully you can still hear me. The exhaust fan just kicked on. So then you just take this plant and set it right on the bottom of that pot. So now, now your roots is at the bottom of this pot, right? So then you're going to fill this up with soil to here. So just fill it up. It's going to be somewhat gentle, but not extremely gentle. It's a tomato plant. It's fairly tough. You don't want to hurt the roots, but the stem and that's pretty, pretty, pretty tough. So then, then it's going to be this, and then this is just fishy mulches. All this is. So then I'll just give it a drink. And then I'll get the water hose. And trust me, that fish emulsion stinks. Then you get your water hose and just give it a drink. Well, first thing you got to do is turn the water on. That usually helps. You give it a pretty good drink. Let it soak in good. Then after you get these done, then I'll give them all a good drink afterwards. But that's that's pretty much the gist of up potting your tomatoes.
So there they are. I got eight, eight Sun Golds, Sweet 100s, and Indigo Cherries. These are the cherry tomatoes that we decided we wanted to grow this year in our high tunnel. We normally only do the Sun Golds and the Sweet 100s. Usually, usually do half half of each, and then we just mix our pints up. Then we normally just mix our pints as we do them. All right, so you can see these tomatoes are looking pretty dang nice. They're a little bigger than I wish they were. I wanted to get them in a couple days ago, but I never had a chance. Um, so today I'm going to plant these in our tunnel and. While I have them in, still in the greenhouse, I'm going to go through and prune them. And the first thing you want to do, let me move in a little closer so you can see me. The first thing you need to do before you plant a tomato plant is make sure it has no flowers on it. You don't want, you don't want this ready to bloom already. And then take all the suckers out, which that would be all these... That grow in that little crotch area all the get rid of all of them and then there's one down here low I'm gonna get it out too and on this one I'm also I'm also going to prune this one off and this one off they don't need to be on there I'm going to go through and do that to all these tomatoes. I got the flower heads off and got the suckers off and the lower limbs off. So next, I use I use this. You can use your hands or a shovel or whatever you wanted to use. It doesn't matter a whole lot. I uh, and I am interplanting them with kale right here, but I got lettuces and stuff down through there as well. So then you just take your your auger. You get it fairly deep with it, and then you grab you a little bit of a little bit of this this here as uh that what that is is worm castings. It's worm castings, um, green sands, some uh, rock dust. It's just minerals, just a good organic fertilizer. And then this this time I'm, I've never done this before. But this is going to be the first. I'm gonna get some alpha. I got some alfalfa pellets, and I'm gonna put a couple of them down in there. I've never used them on tomatoes before, but I'm gonna try it. And then I forgot to grab something. Trust the water hose, and you fill that hole up. You fill that hole up, and you let that hole drain. And when that hole drains, and you Put your tomato in there and you bury it as deep as what what your hole is drilled so while we let that drain i'm gonna go through and drill out the rest i have them all laid out and they're going to be 16 inch centers is where they're going to all be throughout this tunnel and like i said down that way i got i got lettuce and spinach and everything else growing in this bed i'm just going to interplant it for now that's how it's going to be um it won't be like that forever but it will be like that for now
so I have most I have all the holes drilled most of the holes are drained already so I'm just going to go through now and, and you can see these roots look fairly decent they uh not extremely root bound actually as far as that goes they look good I could have given them some more fish emulsion a few different times but um, and you can tell that because the roots aren't extremely white. If they were whiter, like they are here, if they were like that everywhere on here, then you would know that these were healthier. They're still healthy. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if I'd give it more fish emulsion, they would have gotten whiter. Now they're starting to starting to turn turn brown or more brown. But they're still still really healthy plants. And I'm just going to go through and drop these in. If it wasn't for having these this cattle panel tunnel we wouldn't be able to plant our tomatoes this early um this is probably a month before you would really want to plant any tomatoes here um they'll do fine we, they're calling for pretty cold temperatures in the next this weekend saturday evening and sunday evening but um we still should be fine plant the ones that I plant in the field exactly the same way as I did these. The only difference the only difference is I'll uh, plant them in I'll put ground cover down and burn holes in it to plant and then I'll build a trellis here I'll just trellis them up up against this cattle panel and just shove them down in the hole good make sure they're all the way to the bottom and fill them up Pack it in decent. That's a cable plane. I'll stuff it back in. And you may think that's still too close for tomatoes, but trust me, I've been doing it like this for years, and they grow just fine. So there's that then then what I like to do after I get them all in the ground is I'm going to go through and I'm going to water them good so I make sure I get all the air pockets out of the out from around the root I'm doing this just to get the dirt cleaned off the lettuce, basically. And giving it a drink won't hurt nothing either.
so there's that and that's how I plant my tomatoes whether it's field tomatoes or greenhouse tomatoes it doesn't really matter they all grow the same they all they're all uh, pretty easy to grow in here you can control the environment a little better outside you gotta you gotta watch um, you'll get blight quicker out in the field but if you keep them pruned up and you feel like I say if you watch the playlist below um, I, I explained to you in there how to prune tomatoes how to harvest them this here from seed to planting is pretty thorough I believe you'll get a good get a good bit of knowledge out of it um and they'll stay in here they'll stay in here producing until until I want them to come out which will be probably in the fall maybe maybe sooner because we'll we'll take this this bed out and we'll put different things in here but that's a different video altogether so hopefully you learned something one thing too I want to add to this is if you get your seeds get your tomatoes from a big box store or a nursery local nursery make sure you know your your nursery people and if you go to the big box store make sure you make sure you know what you're getting because they put they put they put chemicals in their plants so they don't grow as big as these do and they'll not grow really well in a natural environment like this they'll stay short these hadn't had no chemicals no man-made chemicals natural chemicals but no man-made chemicals has ever been touched on any of these crops that we grow um so just keep that in mind anytime you buy tomatoes peppers squash whatever plant you buy make sure make sure you get them from someone local or you grow your own if you get them from someone local, make sure you know who that person is. You make sure you know how they grow. You make sure they're not hiding nothing from you because they do put stuff in them to keep them short. They'll keep short. They'll stay short, and they'll they'll bloom sooner. But but they don't produce as much, and they don't get near as big, and the taste isn't as good. So just keep that in mind. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Share it with your friends and the family. Until we meet again, take care and God bless.